How do you install the ICM 517? The ICM 517 is a surge protection device and I'm going to install this for my mini split today so that I don't have to replace my inverter board because we had a power surge or a lightning strike. This right here will protect my mini split and I won't have to replace the inverter board if there's a lightning strike. I'll just have to replace this device and this device is around 50 uh, it's less than $100. I've seen these anywhere from $50 to $75 online. I'll post the link in the description so you can check this product out. I'm installing this today, probably on my disconnect right here, but this can be installed on the outdoor unit itself, can be installed at the service disconnect, and it can even be installed at the electrical panel. Whatever is easiest and whatever's most convenient, I'm gonna install it at the disconnect and I'm gonna show you how to install it. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. First step, take, turn the breaker off, unplug the disconnect. That way we can install the device and not get shocked. Now, let's take a look at what you get when you order the ICM. 517 looks like we got some installation instructions a manual which is amazing and then we've got some information about our warranty and then looks like we've got a lock nut a rubber gasket and that's going to be great for connecting this half inch connector so this is the icm 517 you can see uh, there is some technical data on the front this unit can be installed on a two ton all the way up to five ton unit because we can use this with a 15 amp breaker or a 60 amp breaker. So as small as a 15, as large as a 60. We got three LEDs on the front. So whenever we install this, we're gonna see these LED lights light up. And whenever you have one of these LEDs goes out, then that means you need to get a new device. But we have these LEDs, which is really nice. Now, if you opened up this box, you're gonna see a circuit board and you're gonna see some MOVs which are metal oxide varicitors. And that is what's gonna protect our equipment from those lightning strikes and those power surges. Those MOVs are going to take that surge before our equipment does. And then if one of those MOVs goes out, then one of these lights is gonna go out. So you're gonna to wanna to get a new ICM 517 if one of these LEDs or all these LEDs are not lighting up. That way you have safety, okay? We got the disconnect open. We're gonna go ahead and start installing this product. Since we're gonna be working in the disconnect outside, we're gonna go ahead and turn the breaker off right here to that disconnect. Okay, let's go. Now that the power is off to the disconnect, we can work inside safely. I've got my flathead screwdriver and I've got my hammer and I'm gonna begin by taking the half inch knockout loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take my hammer my flathead and I'll take and go back and forth on that half inch knockout until I get it loose and I've got it loose you got to be careful not to take the other knockouts loose I'm gonna go back and forth Now we got the half inch knockout. Flatten that back out. Now what's nice is all of the wires are already spliced for us. This can be used with 120 volt and 240 volt. And I'm gonna explain the wiring. So we've got our ground wire. We've got our neutral wire, which is the white wire. And we got our black wire, which is our power. Now, the way I'm gonna wire this is I'm gonna use these two blacks and I'm gonna go to L1 and L2, and then this is my ground wire. So I'm gonna hook this where ground goes. Now, if I was installing this for a, a gas furnace for some type of 110 volt appliance, what I would do is I would use the white one for the neutral. I would tie both black wires together, and then I would probably take another wire and splice into this and then go to wherever my connection would be. And then I would have my ground. So we'd have ground, neutral, and then tie these together. And that would be a, a wiring setup for 110. 
But what we're going to do again is L1, L2. We're going to uh, wire nut the uh, neutral white wire because we're not going to use it. And then we're going to use our ground. All right, so first thing is first. You see this nipple here? We're going to take and slide our lock nut, half inch lock nut, over this, right? Like that. Then we're going to take the wires and route them through our half inch knockout. And remember, you want the product to face where you can see the LEDs, right? Now, once we've got it in there, we're going to take our gasket, okay, slide those over the wires like so. And then one more lock nut, half inch connector here. And this 517 control has a NEMA uh, 3 rated enclosure, so it's waterproof. That's It can be mounted inside or outside. All right, you're going to take and use your hammer, your flathead, or you can use a pair of channel locks to tighten that lock nut. Okay, once it's tight, now we're going to wire it up. Ground goes right here. See that? That's the ground wire. We're going to slide that wire up in where the ground goes. All right. All right, now we're going to take it where it says line. And we're going to take our two black wire, boop and boop. And we're going to slide these in here. Now you want to make sure you got a good connection. And if you slide these wires in here and you tighten it down and, and you pull on it and the wires come back out, then you need to do something different. And that may be install it at a different location. Pull on the wires, make sure they're nice and tight and you can't pull them back out. And then our last wire was our white wire. And we're going to put a wire nut on that. So, got the wire nut on. All the wires are secure. Put this disconnect back together. Go ahead and plug it in. Oh, we got three LEDs. Beautiful. Look at that. LED one, two, and three. Now my equipment's back up and running. We've installed the ICM 517. So I've got a surge protector protecting my equipment. This is an American made control manufacturing company. And if you want good support, you want good products, check out the link in the description for icmcontrols.com. There is a form for warranty registration. So don't forget to register to get the full warranty for this product. There is installation instructions for how to wire for 120 volt for 240 volt. Also, we have this enclosure that's waterproof so it can be installed indoors or outdoors. And now I don't have to worry about my mini split getting damaged from lightning. And then I have to replace something like my inverter board. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know what it was down in the comments. If you got a question, definitely put your questions down below because questions can become content. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. And if you need a surge protector, go check out icmcontrols.com. And if you haven't seen the other videos I've done about the other products they have, like the ICM 870, or the ICM 493, I'll put those videos down below so you can go check out those other products that are gonna help your equipment to save you money in the long run and to help protect your equipment. 
You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.